Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today I have my Hang Your Stocking die set. It makes this beautiful gift box here and if you lift this up here, this is where you'd put all your treats in there. This is absolutely perfect. Little sweets and chocolates and coins and things that you get at Christmas. You can even put money in here or a gift card as well. That would make the perfect little gift there. So this is from my brand new Christmas toy box collection and we have these dies here they mirror each other so you get two uh, you get one of each side and again you get one of each side for doing these intricate details as well so you get the extra presents and it's just lovely so let's get on with showing you how to make this lovely box okay so I've die cut everything out that what you're going to be needing to make this box and I just need to die cut one more thing which is the opening for the top of the box so we'll put that there so you're going to be needing four of these um, side pieces with the row of tabs two of the knitted detail on the top and you're going to be needing four stockings so these are mirror images so you're going to need two of one side and then two of the other and then I have actually gone ahead and done some of the detailing as well so I'll show you how I'm storing my stamps not my stamps my um dies so let's just take this off just a piece of acetate there I'm just storing them together just like that so I can just run that through the machine but these are separate as you can see but they're being held together by tape so I'm just going to quickly pop that back on there and that is how I have I created that look you can do it without that as well there are some ideas on the front here on how you can do different combinations you even get those um, ovals there for the toe and the heel okay so let's pop all of these aside and we're going to be working on these strips first so I've I've bent one of these already I'm just going to do the same for all of them and then I'm going to be gluing them together just like that okay Okay, so you should have two things that look like these little like millipede sort of things. Okay, so this also will work with the Captain Christmas die set. So let me just um, grab that one out. Here we go. So we have the same sort of thing here and we have this lid here. This is the stocking one and this one here is the one from Captain Christmas. So this technique that I'm showing you here, you can also use on the Captain Christmas die set too. Okay, so grab one of your stockings, one of the plain ones that you have not decorated, and we're going to be keeping this top section clear, and we are going to be working our way around, adding and curving around the side panels around just like that. So I'm just going to add some glue. to that point there then I'm just going to add that around you may get gluey fingers doing this okay so there is that way you can do it that way or you can just add the glue to the tabs as you go around so there are different ways that you can do this Okay, so we're going to add this one along the bottom there and we are going to have to trim some of that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue from this one here all the way down. I'm going to get my big scissors for this one. Up 
happy where I have a lot of extra flat, well, just three but not a lot, but we're just going to trim those outside ones off. There we go. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like that. So I'm just going to quickly die cut this piece here. And we'll get that glued on. So we have this circle here, that's going to be your little thumb hole or finger hole so you can open up the lid which makes the other side the flap on which we're going to glue it onto oops got an extra piece there off you go so we're going to glue that along there Okay, so the top of the stocking is curved and we can't really have a curved fold so you can either push it down so that the curve still pops out the top. I think that would be the best look. There we go. So that is the back. Right, now to stick on the front. So we don't want all of these in a position where they're down because they're not going to stick to the stocking that we're going to pop on the top. So we can Okay, so there we have everything popped together. So let's get this one, this last section popped on the top there. That kind of hides any boo-boos if you made any. just folds in there. There we go. So that's a lovely little treat box. There's even, let's show you the die set again, there is even a tiny die here that you can add to add thread or ribbon so that you would attach that to these knitted top sections here. There we go. Just here you'd put those there. I'm going to leave mine as an ordinary gift box so let's get those glued on. Just going to add a little bit of glue just across the top. And these cuffs here would look really good with uh, glitter, glitter cardstock. Um, if I had any white glitter cardstock I would have popped that on the top. And then we'll just do the other one, the other side. Just going to line it up with the back one. Okay, and there we have 
a lovely stocking. I'm hoping I got that in frame because I was working up here, wasn't watching the screen as I was going. Okay, so there we have a beautiful stocking gift box. Just pop that open and then you can pop your sweets and treats inside there. And don't forget about the ribbon pool as well, so you can hang it on the tree. That would look really nice as well. So this is the Hang Your Stocking Die Set. Oh, another idea. You can make bunting with this too. Imagine all of these in a row, different colours. That would look really nice. Anyway, so that was today's tutorial. This is Hang Your Stocking Die Set. And thank you for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you again soon.